The Old Republic Omnibus Volume 1 has been released. Actually, it came out back in July, and it was so popular that it was the highest selling graphic novel in terms of units sold and dollars earned. So I apologize for the lateness, but I really wanted to cover it. I'll come right out and say it. I love this book. In case you didn't know, this omnibus contains the 55 issues of the Knights of the Old Republic comic run by John Jackson Miller. I won't really go over the plot too much, but basically this comic features the story of Jedi Padawan Zane Carrick. Zane isn't a great Jedi. He's not really even a good Jedi. But when he gets framed for a crime that he didn't commit, he has to go on the run and try to prove his innocence. But before I get ahead of myself, let's start with the cover. I don't have to say too much, because you can see for yourself. It's just beautiful. Brian Ching is good at what he does. When you take the dust jacket off, you can see on the book itself even more art showing off with the splash pages from the comic. Another thing you might have picked up, this book is thick. It has over 1300 pages and weighs about 7.5 pounds. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is one of the biggest Star Wars books ever made. Certainly in terms of comic collections. It's not the most portable of books, so I don't know if you'd want to carry it around with you or just read it at home. That's up to you, I guess. And I know this might sound weird, but just holding this massive tome in my hands feels like I'm carrying the Bible of Star Wars or something. It's very important lore to Star Wars, and I feel like having it collected this way reflects the significance. The interior art is really good, but throughout its run there were multiple different artists with varying styles, so it can be kind of jarring. The real strength is the characters and the writing. John Jackson Miller is very skilled. This is easily one of the best story arcs in the Expanded Universe. It's got action, adventure, comedy, and drama. Plus, with this omnibus in particular, there is some additional content in the back with the Knights of the Old Republic handbook, which goes over characters and planets. There's also cover art without the word blooms, and some words from the people who worked on it. Now do I recommend that you get this? I do, for a number of reasons. First and foremost, if you don't already have the Knights of the Old Republic comics, it's a great story arc. There's over 50 issues, so you get to be with these characters longer and be in this world for a longer time. It's one of the best comic runs in the whole EU, and that's saying a lot. I've only ever heard people say good things about it. It takes place about 8 years before the Knights of the Old Republic video game, so if you're a fan of Coder, or if you want more material around that era, this comic is a must read. If you're a fan of Mandalorians, it takes place during the events of the Mandalorian Wars, which you don't really see a lot of outside this comic run. All that being said, the Knights of the Old Republic comic has been collected in a variety of ways previously, so how do all those past collections compare to this omnibus here? Well, first of all, there's the individual issues of the comic, which I don't really recommend trying to hunt down, unless you're a collector who has to have literally everything. There are 10 trade paperbacks that collect all of the issues, which are nice, certainly easier to carry than this omnibus, but if you see the prices on Amazon, some of those paperbacks can be pretty pricey. And if you want to get all 10, that's going to add up. Same thing with the original white Dark Horse omnibuses. And I really do like these ones. Most of my Star Wars comics are collected in this format, but they can get really expensive online. However, the Old Republic omnibus also isn't cheap. But with everything you get, all of the comic issues, plus the Coder Handbook, which isn't included with the Trades or Dark Horse omnibuses, by the way, I think it's the best deal right now. The listing price is $125. I do not recommend paying that much. But the good news is Amazon keeps discounting this book. So I got it for like $90, which is still a lot, mind you. But with this thing as big as it is, that's only about six cents per page. If you have to, wait for Amazon to discount this book and then jump on top of it. Also, the omnibus pages are bigger in size compared to the trades and much bigger compared to the Dark Horse Omnibuses. So yeah, I think this is the definitive version to get. If you have any questions about it, leave me a comment. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link to purchase this bad boy in the description. If you do get it off Amazon, remember to go to smile.amazon.com to have a portion of what you spend, at no additional cost to you, go towards the Twin Sons Foundation, which will help buy Star Wars books for children at schools and hospitals. What are all your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below.